Hey guys, welcome back to Judo Highlights. So this will be part two of the Toppy Pawns for Deshambe Grand Slam. And it wouldn't be a Toppy Pawns video without Teddy Rainier. When he does throw out the big techniques, they have to be some of the best in the world. His Osotogari Haraigoshi, some of the best around. And he's been doing this for the longest time. People know it's coming, but they can't stop it. This is Pumalainen getting thrown here by Osotogari. Bit unfortunate for Pumalainen. This meant that he was eliminated early. Bit unfortunate. You gotta hate going to a tournament, getting eliminated in your first round. You come all this way, really want to compete and show your skills, and you just get eliminated. It's a hard game we play. This one, kind of a mix between Tsuriyoshi and Uchimata. Starts it off with that belt grip and the split hip, and then just kind of elevates the leg to finish the throw. Now Daniel H, he's got some great judo. He's a real master at the front, Uchimata. Good at picking up people like this. You know, being in Japan, I kind of see a lot of short people do this technique, but when I think about it, I mean, if you've got long legs, kind of utilizing the leverage, it makes a lot of sense, right? This is a nice Uchimata. Kind of reminds me of Haga Rinosuke, the hop, hopping in there like that. I don't think he saw too many hopping kind of one-step hop Uchimata's back in the day. Everyone was trying to kind of copy Inoue Kose a little bit. And we all know his Uchimata is not really like that kind of hop. It's kind of more like a cross step, taking your back foot and stepping in front of your front foot. It's kind of an awkward one-step Uchimata. And not many people can do it, to be honest. Yokoguruma now. And this is a nice one, Hojo. He threw his opponent with the same throw, but didn't get a score for it, so it's nice to see someone getting a, an Ippon with Yoko Guruma. This is Kondo, he, and he has a really nice Uchimata. Kind of a fading back Uchimata. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Mariyama, to be honest. This one's an awkward one, not a reverse Siorinage, just because of how he controls the hands. It's kind of an awkward setup, though. I was really surprised to see this. Now this is Hojo, and watch him just slice through his opponent's guard. And this is the most basic of basic Newaza passes. So it really makes you think, mastering the fundamentals, so important. Bochasvili took a silver medal. And in the last video I did say I wanted to talk about a Kataguruma, and it was this one. Watch Blue's right knee. So the way the angle that he goes in for the Kataguruma kind of makes... Uh, blue kind of fold over his right knee and Lombardo does the same thing. It's that angle very important angle Loving this Tayotoshi on the return Defends the Orchigari comes up with the Tayotoshi Actually, that was probably one of my favorites of the tournament Rainier again featuring in this video twice now this time for his Uchimata And he's just so good Knows exactly what to do in almost every situation. Stomp. Ochigari. Really hooking Ochigari. He must be so strong. There's not many people out there who are comfortable to take a an inside position, left versus right. Really stand up straight and just kind of invite all sorts of trouble. But he definitely knows what he's doing. And very strong in this position. And here's his Uchimata. Never really thought Stump would develop in Uchimata. Always thought he would just stick to his Newaza, but no, he's got really nice Ashiwaza. Of course, the Hisaguruma, which he's known for. Now this one here is absolutely insane. I guess you would have to call it a Skuinage, but just complete Tewaza. Look at the fake. I mean, Yonezuka, he fell for that fake completely. All about the fake that throw. Nice Uchimata here by Gursak. It's always good to see someone up a Wazadi and still go for it. Although Yeats Brown, she kind of walked onto that. And I think Gursak just said, thank you very much. I'll take the Uchimata. Low Seonage attempt here. And then a low Kosodo. Very awkward kind of combination here, but I mean, Blue wasn't moving. Had this kind of awkward low posture. And then White just took advantage of it. 
Smashed him into the mat with that Kosodo. I guess you would call that a, a Kosodo Gake. Now An, I'm surprised that he made it out of this with his knee intact. Looks like he, he kind of fell over it in an awkward way, but I just saw him competing in the Kazakhstan Grand Slam today, so he's not injured. Although he did have an early exit in that one as well. Not the greatest time for An at the moment. Now let me know what you think of this one. Is this a Utsuri Goshi? The way he kind of hits his hand on the back of his opponent's back. He's not really taking a belt grip or an Ogoshi grip. Split hip as well, so I, I think Utsuri Goshi is probably the correct term here. Although when I see Utsuri Goshi done kind of traditionally, there's that big kind of lift and then dump. You know, you kind of throw the person up and then dump them on the ground. So I'm not quite sure exactly what makes an Utsuri Goshi. Gotta love this one. The off the grip tail Toshi. And this one too. Check this one out. It's a really strong fake with the first Uchimata. And blue. I mean he fell for it completely. Watch this foot stomp by white. Right here. And just completely broke blue's posture. And made that second Uchimata attempt much easier. Now this is a nice one. Look at Blue, you can tell he's looking for all sorts of things. And White, I think he wanted to get out of that situation, but Blue just didn't let him. You can see Blue, look at his posture compared to White's. Really upright, available to do anything he wanted, and he chose the Oso Togari there. This one off the grips. And White, I mean, he almost made a huge mistake by putting that hand over the top like that. Stayed really tall. I'm kind of surprised Blue didn't take more advantage of this situation. Have a look at White. He's very tall as he takes that grip. And Blue, he tried for the Ochigari. Just didn't have enough power or hook on that leg. Went to his knees and then got countered. So just a few more here guys. But anyway, this is the last one guys. Nice bit of Newaza from Teddy Rania. I'm sure he's got some decent pins as well. And a whole lot of weight to put down on people. I'll see you in the next one guys. Peace.